All right, uh, do you guys hate shaving as much as I do? I feel like I just always have perpetual scruff. <laughs> it's really annoying. Anyway, welcome to another edition of Do You Know This Move? And today, uh, I mean, I, again, all these moves are awesome, so you need to watch all these, clearly. Um, but today's situation, I've got a little bit of a, a black setup that looks like this. And this is probably a situation you've been in before, or at least your opponent's played against you. Your opponent has a Shamari enclosure, and there's a couple ways to deal with this as white to get in there or at least ask for something. Uh, the most common ways are here, here, and here. Sometimes you can even play the 3-3 three, three directly, but uh, usually it's the, that's a co unless you have some sort of outside help. So anyway... Those are sort of the moves you can use to mess with the corner after black is enclosed it this way. And today we're going to look at this one. And there is the, the simple variation, which is not the do you know this move. I'm going to assume that most of you have seen something like this before. Uh, here or here, depending. Where basically what makes kind of a, not quite a completely safe group on the outside, but gets some strength for a base on the outside, and black just nails down that corner. That's a pretty standard... Joseki. Um, but the one I want to look at that's more severe is this one. And so this this move's almost always uh, played with its follow-up, which majority of the time is here. And so it's really these two moves that are making the uh, today's episode. Do you know this move? Do you know this shape? And so this is what we're going to go over. If you've never seen this before, that's fine. Uh, you're going to learn a very, you know, nice trick in your arsenal. <laughs> Uh, that will be, they'll pay dividends, because this, this is happening a lot. Uh, this attachment is very popular right now, and this is the most severe response to it. So if you haven't seen it in your games, you will. Just play more Go. Anyway, uh, I want before we get into that variation too far, I want to take a look at what happens when black, uh, white just pretends to take the corner. Uh, normally black will descend here, and this is this is very deadly. Without any outside support, white's going to suffer here, possibly die, <laughs> uh, and get very little compensation for it. <clears throat> white plays here. White can do all these things, uh, but no matter... I think the best move for white is actually this one, but it doesn't matter. This is still locally dead. And I think... Is this the best move to kill? Something like this. Uh, you can still see that it is still dead. Now, there's there are some potential cuts and things. So if you're not completely... Uh, if white has any help on the outside, these cuts can come back to haunt black. <laughs> but locally, it's a dead shape. So black... Everybody has to be super careful. Okay? So keep, keep this in mind. If you just pull back here, you can really only do this with, with some outside help because you're going to have to cut and fight. All right, uh, and this one is changing directions. This one's also playable, um, but it's it's probably not as good as this one the vast majority of the time. And this one actually also can change directions, but it's up to your opponent. And so anyway, this is the main line. I want you to all consider this. Again, your opponent has an enclosure, you're attaching, and your opponent plays the severe one. What do you do? Do you know this move? Well, the continuation for black uh, is actually not that hard. <laughs> it's to play Q style, take an Atari, and just defend, make white crawl. Uh, however, when you get to this point, you can see that white is having some troubles, and if white just keeps crawling, this is going to be a great result for black, because even though black just started with two stones in the corner, black is going to end up with so much more, if, even if white just keeps crawling, and if black has any help whatsoever, I got news for white, black's going to want to play something like this and just kill you. Um, again, may not be possible yet with these cuts. Again, black needs a little bit of support. But white's in super danger, and even if white just or is, is allowed to live, black allows white to live in the most simple <laughs> way, whatever that is, uh, this is beautiful for black. Like, oh my god. Look, one, two, three, this is six points for white. And I know this was black's corner to begin with, but those six points are so not worth all of this influence on the outside, right? Black has taken complete control of the squadron. So that's pretty sad. So we don't really want to have that happen for white either. So just crawling until we live accidentally 
isn't probably a good solution. And so at this point, we need to find a better move. And uh, some things... Well, here, let me just... I'll just show you the, the best answer, the most usually the answer that works, uh, is to actually employ the clamp. And this is going to ask Black a question. And this is something you kind of have to be okay with when uh, you play this variation. Because in the end, you might still have to give up all these stones. But you're going to get something out of it, so it's okay. All right, so keep that in mind. So we play all these simple moves, and then we clamp. Black has an option. Black can say, okay, I'm just going to take my thickness and let you live in the corner. Notice how, black, how white has almost seven points. It's still only about six points, but there's not nearly as much thickness. Black didn't get to play that one for free, for instance. And that's a pretty huge difference. There is still a defect here to poke. Um, so it's better, it's better than the other result. And our corner is, is guaranteed alive at this point. Black cannot kill this. So, uh, this is one answer, and this is probably the, the best that both players can do under normal circumstances. Again, if anybody has any sort of outside help, uh, it changes everything. It, with these crawling sequences, they're very precise, and any outside stone can sort of alter who can crawl or who, who can cut or cut off the, the head of the crawler. So keep that in mind, okay? These these are <laughs> your opponents can surprise you is all I'm trying to say if the board position is not completely open. Oops. Uh okay. Let's go back a little bit to here. What happens though? My question to you if black plays this move. And this black so under normal circumstances this is going to be a worse result for black. But this is black killing these four stones. These four stones cannot live now. Well, actually, no, sorry, I shouldn't say that. There's still a choice. Black has going to have another choice to make. Um, but but in general, these four stones should die. <laughs> uh, white has to cut here now, right? These are these are sort of mei, basically. Uh, these two points, mei meaning when one player plays one, the other player is almost guaranteed to take the other. That's what this clamp forces mei here. It's a very nice clamp. Okay. So white has to cut. Black will take this. Black has to just make a living group in the corner, which is fine. Uh, but white's going to get these Ataris, and more than likely should push up here. And so black got to keep the corner. First things to note. Also, these four stones technically dead. Um, black could really secure them right now, but that's kind of slow. And that perhaps would give white a little bit too much momentum to use this outside thickness. Um, again, you have to remember, if white gets a position like this... Black already had two stones in the corner. We usually say two stones in the corner are worth about 10 points. And so how many points here did Black get? Black got more than 10 points, but is it a lot more? Not really. It's We got 8, uh, 10, 12, 14, 16. Black got essentially six more points. Did White get six points of compensation on the outside? You betcha. So this, this is a little bit sad for Black. Like, it's not a disaster. Nothing died. But this is actually a pretty good result for white. Again, counting on the fact that black already had two moves here. If if the result is like this and this was white's corner to begin with, this is a dis disaster for white. Okay, we're not going <laughs> to pretend that this isn't a good result for black. There's just a lot of territory there. But again, assuming we got two moves elsewhere as, as the white player, this is a great result. Uh, if black tries something else, this gets really messy. If black doesn't just live in the corner here. And you can see how quickly it works. This Atari is just garbage. It just doesn't work. It just crumples and dies. Uh, if black goes this way... Oh god, it's messy. It's real messy. It's really... It's, it's, it's good for white, but you're going to have to do a lot of thinking. <laughs> uh, even though black is technically not winning the caption race, because it's against two different groups, it can be very confusing. Uh, I think white has to play here next, uh, but if that happens, then there's this. No, so maybe white, white has to play this next. Oh god. <laughs> this is all very... What did this cut? I don't. I actually don't... I've never seen this variation played, so I don't know what's supposed to happen here. But it's... It's very, it's very hard. Uh, again, I've never seen it played. <laughs> This would be an exciting go game if you get to this point, though. This is this is like sit down and think for a while, <laughs> kind of go. 
I, re- I really don't know what the next move is. Uh, I mean, I have candidates. All right, anyway, maybe we'll come back to that. That's scary. Had not prepared for that variation. That is a scary mofo. Okay. You can do your homework. You can go read that out. <laughs> it's really good homework. Anyway, not really not really in the, the wheelhouse of a do-you-know-this-move mini-lecture. Um, again, going back to here, let's review. Uh, the most common response is here. And crawl and clamp. If you can get this far, you're doing great. Like, like I, as far as I'm concerned, you know this Joseki well enough to play it. Um, this is this is sort of like the key move for white. Now there are some other responses for black here. Black doesn't have to take the Atari, but the good news is they're not very hard. And so perhaps the second most common answer for black is to actually just connect, and just keep all the stones strong, prevent any cut. Again, not a hard result for white. It actually kind of transposes a little bit. You play a tiger's mouth. There's the Satari. Uh, if black comes this way, that's great. You go this way. <laughs> and even if black is strong over here, you still might be in trouble. Uh, but you're getting out. And if you get out far enough, you might actually be able to, to harass this a little bit or harass the shape or harass whatever's over here. So white's not completely safe. This is kind of how black would force you to run, but it doesn't really feel like you're running from from a super weak position either. At any point, you can play here, and if black really, again, doesn't want you to uh, have eyes, can play something like this, and you can ask again, hey, can I just live? Black says no. You're, you're, you have a guaranteed eye, and black's shape is a little bit thin here, right? So when you when you run out, um, you might be able to take away something. So just be aware. <laughs> uh, when black plays this, black is asking you to run <laughs> under normal circumstances. Uh, of course, if black plays something like this, uh, you can just make a base, basically, and everyone everyone's a winner, especially white, because this is black's corner. Uh, let's see, other variations. This one, you should never be scared of is white. Basically, even though black is playing the most severe move possible, right? Making this cut directly, black is giving you all sorts of free moves. And there's actually lots of ways to use this. They are scary. <laughs> they're not they're not actually easy, but this does transpose to a well-known Joseki uh, that occurs like this. When white plays this triangle, black comes here, white wedges, and Atari. It's the same position. So it's not a completely unknown position. You just have to be aware this usually ends with white taking some stones on the outside on the left and black retaining the corner. But there is some Aji involved here. And I think this is... I haven't played this in a while. I think this is the sequence. Maybe. Mm. Line. <laughs> Uh, not quite. Oh no, there's a push here. There's a push here first, yes, yes. And then white makes shape some, somewhere like this. And so this looks really good for black, and in fact, it is still it is good for black. Um, but if black wants these stones, you're just going to give them up under normal circumstances. You could even threaten a co, and again, make shape way out here. This territory isn't as big as it looks because there's so many black stones there. Um, it's still sizable. But white does end up with some sort of safe and powerful position on the outside. Um, again, there are some variations here. I'm actually not sure about that extension in that Atari, but um, the ending shape was right, so I'm somewhat confident this is a, a variation <laughs> since we got to the right place. I know this is how it ends. Uh, so anyway, be aware of that, that, that this, is, this is also a severe way to play. Um, do, do, do. This cut is playable for black as well, especially when black just wants the corner and doesn't care about what's not going on on the left. Uh, if black truly doesn't care, then this is a fine choice. Um, but again, this is by far the most common and usually the best result. It gives black the best options. So anyway, uh, there you have it. Did you know this move? And if you did, fantastic. And if you didn't, and I suspect most of you haven't, uh, just given you know, how much there is to learn it go, do add this to your repertoire, uh, because 
special in the age of robots, these Shamari invasions, Shamari referring to the corner enclosure, happen need to happen a lot, right? This this is a very common position uh, in in our current state of Go. And so you need to know all the different ways you can harass this. And again, this triangle point just being one of the most common. And if you're willing to play this, well then you have to know this one. <laughs> and furthermore, you have to know <laughs> this one. And if you know those three things, you can totally play this variation and, and feel pretty safe and confident about it. Like I said, there are some fuzziness, there are some, some hard parts, but you might just have to read those when you get to them. Uh, anyway, they occur in such a small percentage of games that I wouldn't worry about it too much. So there you have it. Did you know these moves? Uh, come back for more. I, I really appreciate all the positive feedback that you guys have been giving to these videos. So I'm, I'm yeah, I thank you. I just want to say thank you for, for uh, all the messages and, co and uh, YouTube comments I've received. All right. Thanks. Happy going.